The Bangladesh political crisis of 2024 is a complex web of tensions, fueled by deep-rooted issues. The 2024 elections are a powder keg, with opposition parties accusing the ruling government of authoritarianism and electoral manipulation. Economic instability, exacerbated by global inflation and local corruption, pushes citizens to the brink. Protests are escalating, and the youth, disillusioned with the status quo, are demanding change. The potential triggers a controversial election outcome, violent crackdowns on dissent, or sudden economic collapse could ignite widespread unrest. The 2024 political crisis in Bangladesh has been a whirlwind of events. It all started with massive student protests against the government's job quota system, which escalated into a full-blown uprising. The protests led to the ousting of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, who fled to India on August 5, 2024. The crisis was triggered by several factors. Allegations of election rigging, Hasina's government faced accusations of manipulating elections in 2014, 2018, and 2024. Human rights violations, her administration was criticised for extrajudicial killings, forced disappearances, and judicial harassment. Economic instability, the country was grappling with economic challenges, which fueled public discontent. The economic challenges such as rising inflation, unemployment, and economic inequality may fuel discontent among the population. Economic grievances often catalyze political mobilization, especially if the government is perceived as ineffective in addressing these issues. Student protests began over the job quota system but quickly expanded to demand broader political reforms. Influence of external actors, the role of foreign governments and international organizations can also be a trigger. Pressure from the international community regarding human rights or democratic practices might lead to defensive actions by the government, further escalating tensions. Security forces' role, the behavior of security forces during protests and political events is critical. Heavy-handed responses to dissent can provoke violent confrontations and deepen the crisis. The world has witnessed many similar civil tensions and protests. Sri Lanka protests in 2022 were triggered by severe economic crises, including shortages of essential goods and skyrocketing inflation, leading to large-scale protests against the government and the resignation of the president after demonstrators stormed his residence. Myanmar protests in 2021 followed the military coup that ousted the democratically elected government, leading to widespread protests and civil disobedience movements, with the military's violent response resulting in significant casualties and ongoing unrest. Iran protests in 2022 were sparked by the death of Massa Amini in police custody, focusing on women's rights and government repression, leading to significant mobilization and violent clashes with security forces. Ukraine protests from 2013 to 2014, known as the Euromaidan movement, began over the government's decision to suspend an association agreement with the EU, evolving into broader demands for democratic reforms and against corruption, resulting in significant political upheaval. Hong Kong protests in 2019 were triggered by a proposed extradition bill, evolving into a larger movement advocating for democratic freedoms and opposition to perceived encroachments by the Chinese government, marked by significant clashes with police and international attention. Chile protests in 2019 were initiated by a subway fare increase but quickly expanded to encompass broader issues of inequality and demands for social reforms, leading to a state of emergency and curfews. These examples highlight how economic, political, and social grievances can converge, leading to significant civil unrest. In each case, the interplay of government response, opposition mobilization, and public sentiment plays a critical role in shaping the trajectory of protests. The interim Bangladesh government, led by Nobel laureate Mohammed Yunus, has taken charge, but the situation remains tense as the country navigates through this period of uncertainty. What are your thoughts on this situation? The stakes are high, 
and the world is watching as Bangladesh stands at a crossroads, grappling with its future amidst a turbulent political landscape.